thousands of casts with the camera, and as many hours browsing through the recordings gives a good idea of where the fish are holding. This school of fish was quite far out. And here, a sea trout right where the camera and fly touched down. It's interesting to observe that the fish are not spooked at all by the splashy touchdown on the smooth surface. A school of sea trout, not far from a beautiful reef, where it's easy to wade. And these fish are holding in shallow water, close to shore. And this school was found just on the other side of a stone bed, which you can wade across. This school was found in the dark seaweed close to shore. The sea trout are found in different areas depending on the bottom structure and water depth where you fish. But from my experience, fishing the camera and the fly over a relatively uniform location like this, I can draw some conclusions. From a sandbar, the casts were made over areas with seaweed, rocks and sandy parts. A very common location. With the camera, I can cast 70 to 80 meters, and within that distance, I can estimate how far out the fish are. This is, of course, a very general observation, but approximately 20% of the fish are within the first 20 meters. By far, the most fish are within the first 20 to 50 meters, and from 50 meters and out, there are fewer fish. This is a general assessment when the bottom structures are relatively uniform and water depth is slowly increasing. <laughs> 